I think that brings us to the end of uh, today's proceedings. It was a long day. In permission, Madam Chief Justice, uh, there is still an issue arising out of the scrutiny. I am told uh, I would like my learned junior uh, to explain because he's the one covering the technical issue of the scrutiny. Uh, good evening, uh, my lady, the Chief Justice and uh, the Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court. My name is Eric Gumbo. We've had interaction with my colleagues who are handling the scrutiny, and they give us the indication that there's been very good progress so far, but there's one specific issue which they would want to get clarification from this court on that arises from order number two, specifically the use of the word forensic image. Now, the applicants appear to be interpreting that to mean an opportunity to get the image of the entire server. Now, that is causing a bit of a concern because then it means if they have the image of a server, technically, they'll have gotten access to everything that certainly is contained in that server. It means that that order will be so far reaching that after that event, if perchance there was an order for a repeat election and you don't have that infrastructure, it then means that that election may not be conducted. The other concern is the potential breaches that might be in relation to third party licenses that are contained. And so therefore, it really is important that we get clarity on that question so that then the exercise can proceed uh, smoothly. I am most obliged. Yes, with, with your permission, uh, Madam Chief Justice, ladies. I, I raise because after we broke off over lunchtime, I personally went to the IBC offices, 21st floor, where the exercise was going on. And I, I'm sorry, but I don't think what my landed friend has said is exactly what was going on. First, the team that was sent by this court to supervise did come up with what was an implementation matrix and laid it out. I think this was done yesterday. And what I learned is the biggest problem that has been going the whole day are arguments about this implementation matrix. And as by the time I left at three o'clock, nothing had happened. And even some of the simplest issues as giving copies of the technology system security policy had not happened. So what I met is an argument between technical computer people about what they should comply or not comply with, about what, forensic, for instance, the issue of the forensic image is not correct that the demand was for an image of the entire server. In fact, what I meant had been, met had been agreed on was that the part of the server that was supposed to be forensically imaged was going to be cloned so that there's no access to the, and that had also been agreed on. But when it came to implementing it, there were always new arguments. And in my estimation, what I found is that there is nobody at IABC who this order is directed at who is responsible for ensuring that these matters are done. I went, the CEO of IABC was there, the director of uh, uh, ICT was there, S uh, there were two or three lawyers from IABC and a host of other technical people, and all that was happening was arguments happening between one team and another team. Uh, the CEO says this, but he doesn't talk, so other tech people come, argue with the people from the political parties. That is the confusion that is going on. And therefore, unless this court addresses its order at a specific person, who then can come in case there is doubt as to what these terms mean, can themselves come for clarification, then that confusion will go on. But either way, we did try to sort out 
the problems that were there. I left at about four o'clock, the process now starting. Uh, the advice I give to the team is let us first see what happens in the several hours, and then they will say what is it they are not getting, and we can report that to court. I will be going there after this to find out how far that has gone. I still feel very strongly that this court needs to make somebody from IEBC responsible for the implementation of this order. Thank you. Uh, my lady, my lord, sorry. Without uh, appearing to belabor the point. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, uh, I've been given an example of one of the issues that arose is because there's also an argument going on as to how many servers are involved. Uh, there was talk of only accessing one server, then there's a whole range of technical uh, arguments as to how many servers are involved in an RTS and how many should be shown. Uh, team is saying that there are about eight servers involved, that they've only gotten access to one, that they're not getting access to the other seven. There's nobody at IEBC who takes responsibility to answer that question, so nothing gets done. Thank you. Sorry, my lady, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, my lady and uh, my ladies and my lords. Without appearing to want to belabor that point too much, I think when we got back after the short break that the court took, uh, Justice Lenola did indicate that there was fairly good progress in all the fronts, both in for other house and in anniversary. So it certainly cannot be true what counsel is saying that there has not been progress, because then that would impute that counsel is even saying that the court is uh, not saying what is happening. We have gotten very clear indications that there's been, uh, there, there are three, four compliance items that were raised. There were four compliance items that were raised. Out of those four, item number two has been resolved, item number three has been resolved, item number four has been resolved. That is the current update that we are getting from our team. The only item that is outstanding is the question of forensic image. And I think there's substantially good progress. It is not accurate to report that there's no progress. We have our director of ICT who's personally taking charge there and is the one who's updating us on what is happening. I think if we could get a clarification in relation to what that forensic image is, then we will be able to complete the exercise. I'm most obliged. Uh, thank you, Council. I think um, from what uh, we understood when we took the break for lunch and when we came back, the issue of order number two had been resolved by the question of cloning as opposed to the security question of, of access, cloning, uh, uh, forensically imaging the server. So what we gathered, and that's what I said when we came from lunch, was that there is progress. Let us revisit it later today after we leave here but as far as I, we were concerned, the, the resolution was that they'll do some cloning, and then any concerns that this team would have would then be presented to us tomorrow, uh, having also gotten a report from our team. But at the time we came, there was good progress, and that's what Mr. Gumbo is saying, so far as we knew from our team out there. So perhaps, uh, CJ, the way to go, let us go back ourselves, uh, uh, perhaps get a report from our team, and should there be any need for a direction tonight, we could do that remotely. And if not, then we give a report uh, in the morning because we